goodbye. Natasha. Here, hold everything, for now. I'm off. Will you get home? You can't stand on your feet anymore. But it's not my fault that they give birth all the time. And they prefer to do it at dawn. Let me call you a taxi. No. You don't have to. Get yourself selected. It's okay. For now. Help me. What happened? Get up. Help me. Help me. Get up. Hold on. Hush, 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 hush. Hush. Be careful. 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 We're almost there. Oh my god. Why is it in what form? Help me carry her. My god. Where to? Which ward? Yes. She's already giving birth. Which ward? Be careful. Have you seen the world since Lee Keen? Just left. Igor Andreevich. Wait. Are you crazy? You'll scratch my car. Andreevich, we have a very difficult woman in labor there. So what? The non-working day is over. And you too. Look, she's very young. Probably the first birth. She is very ill. I trust you. You can do it without me. Igor Andreevich, we can't do it without you. You may need a cesarean. No one agreed with me about the operation. Which one to negotiate? She just came by herself. I'm a professional. I don't work for free. So what kind of person are you, huh? There. Valentina Ivanovna. Well, I'm sorry. Please, I didn't mean to understand you. And, Andreevich, I really need your help. No, that's it. It's too much. I'll fire you, for sure. Please, you can dismiss. Just help the cake. The suit is ruined. Do you know how much it costs? She is already in the delivery room. She has a very serious condition. Valentina Ivanovna, she is very ill. Now Dr. Merzlikin will do everything. He won't do anything, but I won't. I'm calling the head doctor and let him deal with you. That is, what to do? He's losing consciousness. Natasha, calmly prepare her for childbirth. The doctor and I will be right there. Oh, my god. Igor Andreevich, a man is dying there. Why are you struggling? Maybe I'm changing here. Are you completely crazy? You understand that she could die at any moment. And her baby, too. And what? Every day someone dies. The law of nature. And this beggar, who needs her. And you, then, help only those who have rich husbands, right? And if a person has no money, then let him die. What are you hinting at now? The fact that the whole maternity hospital knows that you take money from women in labor. Nobody knows anything, because I don't take money. Yes. Seriously. And what is this? And what is this? An unexpected inheritance from an uncle. So let's go and teach everyone how to work properly. Valentina Ivanovna, this is low. Help the person. She's dying. So, what do we have here? She barely reacts. Yeah. Who will we save first? A baby or a face? Both of them. Save the child. Then we stimulate. We didn't do any tests. Perhaps there is an intolerance. Stimulating. How is she? Does not react. The pulse is slowing down. We connect the equipment quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stimulating, as you say. 
The heart may not be able to stand it, no more. I said, we stimulate. We need to call the resuscitation team. I don't need them here. At the same time, it falls. Breathing is rare. We are still stimulating the stimuli until I grasp it. Come on, hold on. There is. You can't get away from me. Breathe, hold on. Cardiac arrest. I'm doing a massage. So. Scissors. There is. We urgently need an intensive care team. I think it's unnecessary. Milyevskaya, take care of the child. Dying. The birth is over. Thank you all. Take care of the child. I went home, and will talk to you again. Hold on. It has been a long time since we had such a difficult birth in the clinic. Oh, I didn't say. I'm not entertaining, even though I'm a bastard, my hands are golden. But he didn't save the woman in labor. These bums breed like rabbits. You say something like that. Well, what kind of example are you setting for an intern? You saw her. So everything is immediately clear. Probably also brought some kind of infection. And where is Valentina, by the way? Even in the delivery room, he is trying to resuscitate a woman in labor. But it's useless. If Igor Andreevich said that it is impossible to save, then it is impossible. Of course, I do not undertake to argue with the doctor's conclusion. But still, Valentine has a chuka. Baby, cardiac arrest. Of course, we tried science. Then I'll see how she is. Valentina, how are you? Dr. Merzlikin said. How long has it been? About 20 minutes. Tasia, we were taught that time has passed. Just a little more. Come on. I think you did everything you could, Valia. Earned. Do you even realize what you've done? Come on, Masha, come on, run for a doctor. Well done. Well done. Well done. Good girl. We are preparing these for discharge, and here, put things in order. The last pages with analyses are not numbered. Excuse me, I urgently served you, he just didn't have time. Well, what is there? We have people in the intensive care unit, and there is not even a name on the card. Isn't that right, Valentina Ivanovna? The patient still hasn't recovered. Well, what's the hurry? Today, I didn't come to myself. Tomorrow, I ran away to the beer stalls. Oh, who are we treating? A slut came to the intensive care unit to spend the night. Igor Andreevich, do not escalate. Every place in this hospital costs money. Who will reimburse? And why did you decide that this patient would run away? After this homeless woman, you need to clean the intensive care unit for another month. And if a woman in labor arrives in a serious condition? What do you suggest? Don't treat her at all. I suggest taking responsibility for your actions. We urgently need to go to the registry. You spend all your time on this foundling, and you don't care about other patients. And by the way, I wrote a report on you, for the fact that you performed resuscitation yourself. Aren't you afraid that I'll write a report on you? For taking money from women in labor. Oh. Look, what a beautus. Four five hundred. The hero. What about his mom? Still unconscious. Well, it's good that it is, because I could have died at all if it hadn't been for Valentina. Apparently, the mother gave all her strength to her son. Nothing, she'll get out, Valentina is taking care of her. And what was your name? What are you? Is the mother in a coma? Which ones exactly? Alexander should be called. No, it's not a fancy name. Do you know what I want to call it? Alexander is a winner. Oh, right. The winner. He defeated everyone and was born a hero. We vote. And if mom is against it, for us, for all of us, he is a winner. And then you have Alexander the winner. Here, girls, I came up with a name for him. What a good name. 
Alexander. How's his mom? It's hard, but it will live. So, there is a chance to start living anew. What do you mean? So she's a bum. That's what they say. Girls, I've already told you, stop listening to gossip. Think good thoughts. Come on, come on. Well, Alexander. That's great. Everyone, come to our senses. Stop fooling around. So you come on, we come to our senses. Who are you? We open our eyes. What's your name? Where do you live? Eh. Haven't you heard? What? I can't hear any louder. We don't live anywhere. You're a bum, a bum. So we write it down. Is there a father of the child? In the father column we stand by the way. The child doesn't have a father, right? What are you doing, huh? By the way, I'm doing your job, Valentina Ivanovna. Where is the birthing card? Are you crazy? The person has just come to his senses, and you immediately interrogate her. And there may not be another time, Valentina Ivanovna. Stop it. She can hear you. This is a homeless woman and not heard that. She's not a bum. And who? What's your name? Emma. Emma. Yes. Her name is Emma. Congratulations. So we met. Listen, what is more important to you? To fill out your papers or to save a person? And if she dies? How are we going to draw up the documents, eh? Oh, stop it. So, finished playing. Quickly call the Revolutionary Brigade. Run, we're good, quiet, we're not dying, we're holding on. Tina. Valia, wake up. The head doctor of the institution, urgently. We have Peter. Come on, come on. Now. Come on. Yes. Yakov Adolfovich. Have you been summoned? Called. Come on in, Valentina. Such a thing. Igor Andreevich, here he is. I wrote a report that you are voluntarily engaged in treatment. Valyasha, you are not a doctor. Igor Andreevich arranged for a patient in a serious condition to be interrogated with partiality. A patient with no fixed place of residence. This does not give you the right. Gives. I am responsible for all patients. And you focused on one. The rest on the side. So, all right, all right, wait. T Val, you really are somehow too much about this. She's not that. She has a name. Her name is Emma. Yakov Fedorovic, we don't need this woman in labor. Of course, you don't need it. She can't pay you. Well, that's enough. Well, I'm asking. Well, here it is. This. It's already crossing all boundaries. I will complain. I'll call the ministry. Call me. Should I give you a phone number so that you can get your money? What? No phone. Here you are. The theft began. I warned you. What kind of theft is this? It's not good to take someone else's. Someone won't give you a lot of money for this phone. Give it back, please. All right. Let's do this. I'll give you the money. 
Do you want to call? Great. It's good that there is someone. I'll leave you a phone number. But only for you to call. You won't sell it or change the tip. You know that vodka is going to kill you now. I'm not your enemy. You don't believe. Yes. Igor Andreevich, what does this mean? This is my assignment. As a professional nurse, you should understand this. You cancelled almost all of the patient's medications. And that's enough. The woman in labor is in intensive care in a serious condition. And who do you propose to deprive of medicine for the sake of this homeless woman? Maybe an old man? Twelve hours of labor, the second day she can't get up on her feet. And Trofimov, she hasn't given birth yet, and she has low hemoglobin, a weak heart. There are enough medicines for everyone in the maternity hospital. Yeah, that's how it is. Have you heard anything about the limit? Do you want to kill a man to spite me? Oh, how wrapped up. Kill a man. If you have facts, call the police. Let's call right now. Hey, you don't have a phone. This homeless woman probably already changed it for vodka. Igor Andreevich. Yes? There the patient escaped. Which one? Well, this is your Emma. Congratulations. It's a surprise. Emma. Don't be in the city. Girl, you. Emma, don't. Now, listen, you can't walk. Young man, this is our patient. Isn't she violent? She's not violent. It just can't be. Don't. Hey, Lena, listen, listen. What city do you need? Please, you have a son there. What city is it? Val, well, I do not know what to do. Well, this patient and I have already started having problems. Yakov Anatol Favish, we are obliged to put her on her feet. Well, you know, boy, it seems to me that she's standing pretty firmly on her feet. She's in shock. It seems to me that Dr. Nerslikin is right. We need to get rid of it somehow. And what do you suggest? The patient is in a serious condition. Do you want to put her out on the street? God forbid. I'm going outside. God forbid. Well, I just had this thought. Here, here you look, Val. Here the birth went well with us, right? It's all right. But the patient is in a serious condition. So where does it need to go? To the hospital. I'll arrange everything. I'll arrange it. And the baby? Baby's house. There are conditions. There are contacts. There. That's it. Do you seriously want to separate the mother from the child? Valyusha, let's face it. She has already practically abandoned her child. No. Yakov, I'm sure this patient has a man. He probably just doesn't know she's here. Maybe he's gone somewhere. He's gone. He took it and left. A day or two before his wife has to give birth. You know, I don't have such a person among my acquaintances, Valya. Maybe you have. I don't have that. I'm sure she has a family. And I am sure that she will not leave here today or tomorrow. Yes. I'm coming. It was. The patient walks around the wards and asks for money and clothes. Why? Well. Well, come on, come on. Speak as you are. Well. He wants to escape. I'm sorry. Valentina. Emma. Here, Valentina Ivanovna, take a look. Begging in the maternity hospital. We gave everything ourselves. It's not a pity. And then people like her use it. Emma, why did you arrange all this? If you need things, you could ask me. And what am I supposed to do with this? We'll deal with you. Just not now and obviously in another place. Of course, we'll figure it out. And I assure you, this will not be the chief physician's office. Wait to swear. Look, girls, it's bad. Emma. What are you watching? This is your patient. Please run for Olga. Now. And I'm needed in the intensive care unit. Um, hang on. Everything will be fine, we will help you. I don't understand what's wrong with her. Everything was almost normal already. Hold on, hold on, honey, come on. Everything will be fine. Thank you.
Who are you calling all the time? I told you, don't call me anymore. Bad. Something has to be solved with this bomb. What to decide? It needs to be cleaned. Where to? Yes, at least to hell with the horns. And more specifically, transfer her to a regular hospital. The child is sent to the baby's house. All right. But you know what, Igor Andreevich, will you sign this piece of paper for me, right? That there is no threat to the life of the mother and her child. And then I will implement your idea. Do you want to be safe? Yes, you know, it will be somehow easier for me, calmer, calmer, yeah. Did I sign? Yeah. And you will remove Valentina, so that it does not interfere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will I go? Go ahead. And the father never showed up. No, no one has been looking for them yet. Probably, he took a dump and threw it. I know such people. First I love you to the grave, and then don't call me anymore. I hope that's not the case with them. They'll be fine. Thank you, Vera. Valentina Ivanovna, is the work worth it again, and are you distracted by all sorts of little things? A child is not a trifle, doctor. You will argue elsewhere. Take the child. And from now on, I ask you not to go to the wards with someone else's child. Why be so upset? Everyone is alive and well. You can't save all the abandoned ones. He's not a castaway. He has a mother. And me. Sorry, girl. He doesn't pick up the phone. But you have a son. The girls suggest calling him Alexander, if you don't mind. Do you want me to help you raise him? And when Sasha grows up big, his dad will start calling you, we just won't pick up the phone. You'll meet someone else again. Handsome, rich, young. I don't want to be rich anymore. There is already. You mean the father. Father's name is Igor. But he doesn't know that he has a son. As soon as he finds out, he'll be right back. Alexander Igorovic. It's very beautiful. Igor Dedovskik. Have you heard such a name? Grandfathers. Of course I have. Scary family. They say they hold the whole city. Ella. Tell me, do you have any relatives besides Igor? Don't you believe that Igor will come back to me? Me, of course. I just want to get in touch with your parents. Don't need Igor. Emma, where are you going now? You need to gain strength first. Well, I'm up to now. I'm up to now. He can't do it now. Listen, you're very weak right now. You can't go anywhere right now. Does he love me? Of course. You'll love it when you see it. You'll love it. That's it. Don't worry. Don't worry. You need to gain strength in the beginning. So, Valentina Ivanovna, come on, are you in the intensive care ward again? What is it? I looked in for a minute. For what minute? How long have you been awake? You need to rest. I feel great. Look, you don't have to tell me that you're feeling great. Do you understand? I always set you as an example to everyone. 
Yes, well, what happens if you don't rest? You may make a mistake. This will affect the reputation of the clinic. Why? Well, I've never been wrong before. Do I have to post an order about your rest? What are you laughing at? Immediately go home and rest. And tomorrow, no earlier than 8 in the morning, show up here, and we will load you with such responsible work. Natasha, so if you see Valentina Ivanovna here, yes, once again, personally telegraph me. Personally, that's it. That's it. Go home immediately. There is. Immediately. Come on. Not to eat, but to sleep. Can I give you a car? No, thank you. No. Home. Here, Natasha, you know what a story. And where are you taking her? She is being transferred to another hospital. Does Valentina know? And what does Valentine have to do with it? Is she our head doctor? No. Valentina Ivanovna, people like you should be loaded with work, so that they don't wander around the corridor without doing anything, and they didn't ask stupid questions. Understand. Understood. Step march to work. Hello, hello. Yes, Allah. Valia, she ran away again. What? I am now. I'll be right there. Well, yes, I told him I could help. Yes. Yes. But what will happen, must. I rolled out the amount to him, let him think. Are you already a limitless person? Aren't you afraid he'll kill you? Don't you think he understands that if he touches me, his father will tear off his head? Wait, what are you honking at me for, huh? My wheel is more expensive than your car. Are you tired of living or what, uh? Hey, I had nothing to do with it. It's her. Igor, it's me. I've been trying to call you. I told you, it's over between us. Igor, your son was born. What? What son? I've been trying to call you. Okay, get in the car. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
E, and who will pay me? So you didn't see the patient run away, did you? Yes, from where? I went to get her medical records. When she came back, she was gone. And you didn't do anything? Yes, I thought it was the orderlies who took her to the car. She thought, I was thinking. Well, that's it, that's it, that's it. What to do now, what? Now we need to call the police. That's it. What happened? What happened was what was supposed to happen. Your pet has escaped. Why did you run away right away? Okay, that's enough. Valya, stop protecting her. I'm calling the police. That's it. Yakov Adifovich, why the police? So we have theft, robbery here. What are you talking about? What kind of theft? What kind of robbery? Money, things. Now we are making out an application. Are you done? Yes, I wrote everything. What statement? What are you talking about? I just refuse this one. Valentina, wait. No. Wait. No. Valentine. Valentina, the racks. Stop, we are, after all. How long can I talk? Do you see what happened here? What a mess is brewing. Well, well, we didn't have enough police here. You understand that this is a mistake. How would you understand? I am entirely on your side, Valya. Well, well, theft is a very serious crime. What could she steal here for? What? Let me make it up to you. What about her baby? We will give the baby to the baby's house. Today, everything and the problem is removed. So, come on, calm down, come on, Valya, Valentine, hold on, hold on, calm down. What do we need with you? What do we need? We need to work with you calmly, to give, so to speak, life. Well, so come on, get yourself cleaned up. Here, I'm going to deal with the police. So what am I supposed to do with you now, huh? Alexander and I love you. Alexander? Is this your son? Stupid name. It means winner. I think you'll be happy. Okay, don't whine. You're getting in the way of thinking. What is it again, eh? This is still not enough, that damn thing. Emma, where have you been? I'm going on a honeymoon. And I won't come back. What about Sasha? You'll take care of him. But you're a mother. I can't do it anymore. Promise not to leave Alexander. I promise. You should have a rest, Valentina Ivanovna. Where did you get your children from? Gratitude. Me. 
You don't mind being grateful, do you? No, I don't mind. Did I say something in my sleep? Yes. By the way, this is a very bad omen. Today, unknown persons fired at Jaeger Dedevskikas car. His body has not been found, but there is reason to believe that he was killed. His father, businessman Pyotr Dedevskik, is considered by many to be connected with crime. The motives of the murder are still unknown, as well as the perpetrators. Gang fights. What did they say? Grandfathers, yes, Igor Dedevskik, yes, yes, it seems so, was the woman in the car. Yes, it didn't seem to be, and what? Your friend Valentina. No. No. Why were you so worried? Well, no, it just seemed. Something sounded wrong. Well, what will please you? What will please you? The body was found, not identified. Who shot? They fled in a black BMW. But the car is stolen. So can you promise me that you will find them? We threw the best forces. So, no. I understand you're into this now. You know. What do you understand? My son is the only heir. Understands. I'll do my best. Please accept my condolences. I don't need your condolences. I need a son. Or at least those who killed him. Condolences. Yes, yes. What happened? Yakov Dolfovich, I want to adopt a child. Ah, uh, well. That's commendable. Commendable. Have a seat. Only if you've come to invite me to be the godfather, I can't. Unfortunately, I don't have your faith. No, I haven't thought about Christina yet. Wait a minute. You. No. Do you want to adopt this homeless woman's son? His name is Alexander. Alexander. That's fine. But he has a mother, and if she comes back... No, he doesn't have a mother anymore, and there's no father either. Fingers, I honestly don't understand you. One minute you're telling him he doesn't have a mother, the next you're telling him the exact opposite. Well, I, of course, I'm just, you know, I'm putting all these fantasies of yours down to your fatigue. That's all I'm tired of. Yakovich, today his parents crashed in a car accident. I just saw it on the news. I understand you have a problem. You can't give birth yourself, but you understand that adoption is a very long, very simple procedure. Well, very much. I understand. That's why I'm asking for your help. Please help me with the paperwork. But it's very... all of this. Although... Listen, come on. And let's draw up these documents as if you yourself gave birth to a child, eh? Is it possible to do this? Well, why? No, of course, if anything happens, I will say, I don't know anything, I haven't heard anything, I haven't seen anything, but at least there won't be any problems with paperwork. 
I agree. Only, Valechka, I beg you very much. Please talk to Dr. Merzlikin. I'll talk to him myself, too, I'll persuade him, but you'll make up with him somehow, won't you? Well, you know, he'll write to someone again, it's like you're writing all the time. Don't worry, me, I know how to talk to him, everything will be fine. Yes, yes. May I? Why do you need me? Did you miss me? I wanted to ask for your help. Do you want to ask for a child? See, I see right through you. Intuition. Intuition or is it just the head doctor who warned you? Forging documents for a child is a big crime. What if someone finds out? No one will know. And a child needs a mother. And if someone reports forgery to the competent authorities? I hope it won't be you. You're asking me for help after all the nasty things you've done to me. Are you confusing me with anyone else? No. Igor Andreevich, you are an excellent doctor. And a terrible, disgusting man. A terrible bribe taker. And after that you want me to help you. Why would that be? Have you checked your black notebook with black accounting for a long time? It was very interesting to read it. You conducted it in such detail. Last name, first name, Bolda, date of birth, even the amount you were charged. And who you shared it with. They searched my office, give it back. Well, what are you? You understand, this is a criminal liability. Prison. And what if the competent authorities find out? Yes. I did not expect such meanness from you, Valentina Ivanovna. I hope we have an agreement. Will you help me? I love you. I will destroy it. Well, where's the baby now? They say the baby's house will be given away. It's better to be an orphan than with such a mother. Why is it an orphan? But how? The father is gone, the mother has run away. That's why it was asked to give birth. There is no such mother by conscience. Listen, stop wailing. If you can't help, shut up. And how can you help here? I won't take someone else's child. And me, especially with such heredity. Okay, girls, I'm off. Hello. And here comes our Alexander. Hungry. No, Alexander came to say goodbye. Bye-bye. We're going home with mom. Which mom? She ran away. I'm his mom now. That's how lucky the guy is. And I'm so lucky. Well, how are we at Derry now without this hero? Maybe I'll feed him one last time. No, thanks. He changed it recently. Listen, take diapers, sliders here. You don't have anything, but Alexander will need it. Girls, we can't take anything. A native of the truth. Sort it out. Well, Igor Andreevich forbids the truth. You know, it may be that he forbids you, but it is impossible to forbid us. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Sashenka will miss you. For now. For now. Goodbye. Yes. It's important. What? More important than the death of my only son. Igor has a son. Who is this? Did you hear that? She said that Igor and son. Some girl called Jaeger, said she was going to give birth soon. Well, he sent her. How long ago? Recently. Do you know her? So that's it. 
Scratch all maternity hospitals, show them Igor's photo and find me a grandson. Come on, well, 